Kia ora. Warm greetings. Welcome to Visa's Kitchen. Today I'll show you how to make English Lord Curry. In New Zealand and Australia it is called Chok. And here I'm boiling the mung dal with half a cup of mung dal and one and a half liters of water. And before that, I soaked the mung dal for 20 minutes so it will cook faster. And as you can see, I'm also boiling some potatoes. Um, I'll be using that to make samosas later on. Why I'm doing that is it's environmentally friendly and it is a practical thing to do. It saves time and power. And I'll get back to you once the mung dal is cooked. Now I've got this English god cut into small cubes like this. And I've also got one whole big red onions cut into small pieces like this. Now the pan is hot and ready. I use about a tablespoon of grapeseed oil and this is the grapeseed oil I'm using. Or you can use a canola oil, it's up to you. Now, when the oil is hot, just add the red onion. And keep on frying till it's a little golden brown. Now that the onions are ready, now what I'm doing is I'm going to add two teaspoons of meat curry powder. Now that I've added the meat curry powder, you stir it for a while and you can smell the aroma of the spices and now what you do you take your English gourd and add it to the spices and onions and give it a nice stir and you have to stir it for one or two minutes and I'll get back to you in a short while now that I've stirred it for about three to four minutes, I'm adding half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and give it a stir. And I'm adding some boiled water. So I've just poured water um, to let it cook and become soft uh, you can see how much water uh, you have to put uh, to get the English got cooked and after you add the water you add half teaspoon of salt and give it a mix and now you cover it up and put it at a lower heat until the English god is cooked. So after adding the salt, you just let it simmer for about 20 minutes or until the English god gets cooked. And then you cover it and leave it for 20 minutes or until it is cooked. And I'll get back to you. Now it's about uh, 20 minutes and let's have a look. Yeah, that's how it should be. And you just break it into smaller pieces. And you can put the heat a bit higher. And this is the dal. This is how it should look. Nice and creamy. 
and I'm going to take the dot and add it to this. Give it a good mix. And I'm going to add some soy milk. It's organic soy milk. It's about half a cup. And not forgetting the soy sauce. To your taste. And give it a good mix. And leave it to become a little thicker and I'll get back to you soon. Now that the uh, dal is a little thicker, I've tasted for salt and it needs a bit more salt I'm adding. Of course it's to your taste, you can eat, uh, add how much salt you want and this is the finished product of it. You can have it with rice or with anything you want. If you like this dish, Please hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.